Hey folks, good morning and uh, a wet, damp morning here at London Heathrow. Uh, we are here on a very special occasion. Um, what I would classify as the uh, last uh, commercial 747 to leave uh, UK shores. Uh, we're, of course, with Virgin Atlantic um, and working with them to film the final departure of their 747, GV Roy, Pretty Woman. Um, we are just um, in the gatehouse right now and we're just going to pop in to uh, see the pilots who are doing their briefing. So bear with me. Call me, call me if there's any... Uh... Gentlemen. Hi, Jerry. How's it going? Right. Very well, thank you, sir. Good. I'm just a cup of coffee right now, which is why I haven't got the mask. So you guys are just uh, basically going over the... Yeah, we literally just got stand the flight Standby, standby, standby. <clears throat> okay. Is it, is it, is it maybe the other ones? You can carry on, guys. Okay, but is it is it is it really bad, Jelly? Is it? Is it okay? I'm pulling the mic. Okay, so just 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 get me give me an audio check on the on the camera mic, yeah. Okay, sorry, guys. Okay, <laughs> all right. So so completing your uh, your final checks, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Just looking at the flight plans now. That just come in. And um, we're, we're just all kind of looking at it separately at this moment in time. And then once we've all looked at it independently, then we'll come together and we'll talk about what we're going to do, how much fuel we would take, etc., etc. But for now, we tend to, tend to keep it, uh, we look at it individually, so we're not kind of leading each other. So we all come to the same conclusions. Mark, you've flown with uh, Zane before, obviously. Yeah, I've known Zane for over 25 years. So it's quite nice to be doing the last flights with him. Um, we're at uh, the same company where we started our careers as well, Air UK. So it's been nice sort of progression through the airlines and the Virgin, so it's been great. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And Carl, good to see you, sir. Yeah, nice to see you, Jerry. Flown with these guys and flown on the 747 for a few years, I guess. Yeah, I've known these guys on the 74 for uh, 18 years or so. Uh, so, absolute privilege. Sprinkled with a bit of feeling of betrayal that we're dropping her off in the desert, but uh, <laughs> a privilege for certain. Fantastic. Okay. Well, she does have a happy ending. At least that's uh, that's the one yeah, yeah, uh, positive yeah. side to look at it. But yeah. uh, I'll let that's you guys good. carry on anyway. Okay. Thanks, Jerry. Right. Cheers. So Zane, I'm guessing in, in terms of numbers, um, it's pretty straightforward. No passengers, no no freight, no baggage. No, nothing. Those, those weights won't change. Um, what we're looking at now is just uh, weather at the destination, uh, our en route weather, and any notices that might affect us. Like, for, for instance, here, um, they've been having runway closures and things like that, which may affect our fuel decision at the uh, for the other end, basically. Uh, at the moment, it's looking um, 
Okay, I don't want to, I don't want to say anything too prematurely <laughs> until all these guys have had a chance to look at everything else, but you know, it should be too much for a change and answer to your question. Yeah. Good, 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 thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> What sort of flight time are you looking at? 10.21. 10.21. Yeah. We've got a okay. picture of our route here, Jerry, bits of interest. Um, it's very northerly today, so yellow is land, white is sea. That's uh, the UK, departing out of London. Pretty much straight north up towards Manchester over Glasgow, all the way up to Iceland. Straight over quite northerly in quite Greenland. Quite. Yeah. Then over way up into the northern territories mm. of Canada. Interesting projection. Down through Canada, way above Lake Winnipeg. And then we come down over here uh, into the United yeah, yeah. States, over the 49th <coughs> parallel there. And that's Canada, that's US, and then down into Salt Lake City, and then come into Vegas yeah, yeah. from the east. And then the, um, she'll stay there for overnight, will it? And then, uh, then you're off to yeah. Phoenix, is it? Yeah, I think the plan is uh, night stop in Las Vegas, uh, drop her off there, uh, and then the next morning, uh, a little briefing over breakfast, and then we take her down to uh, Penal Air Park, which is south of Phoenix. Uh, but I don't know how long that is, guys. Now, 50, 50, 50, 50 minutes. Yeah. 55 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So a short flight into Penal. And how'd you get back? <laughs> I know it's a we, crazy we, question, we've got but walk. Yeah, you got to no, walk. Yeah. <laughs> Trekking across America. Yeah. 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 No, I think we get a, we got a car organised uh, to take us to Phoenix. Uh, with, and then we night stop in Phoenix for one night, and then the next day is a, a deadhead passenger home operation from Phoenix to LAX, and then LAX back to London. Okay. So any particular reason why you're going over the top as opposed to straight across? Well... Is it just yeah, weather, it's, or...? Essentially, it's the shortest distance, actually. Is it? So, um, it's That's almost, interesting. It's almost a great circle. So if you, uh, uh, if you get an orange for example and you put a piece of string between yes. A and B yes the if that string would dissect the center of the orange yes that's the shortest distance between A and B on a ball I see but when we look at a flat map it looks like it's a long a long way but actually it's it's close to a great circle which is the shortest distance so it's not really due to weather it's uh, raw mail but if we look at weather and I don't know when it's going to turn it's a very rudimentary <laughs> drawing of the high level jet streams <laughs> uh, which is pretty pleasant today there's a bit of wind coming right over the, over London at flight level 340 there uh, here there's a small one at 320 and that's a fairly big one of 160 knots going across this there so it's reasonable to expect a bit of turbulence as we cross that part is that the headwinds uh, well the direction of the snake is the core of the jet stream, so that's the direction. I see. So it will be coming from sort yeah, of so a northerly direction. Yeah, you'll be hit yeah. By it. That, actually, that's north to south. Oh, is I that see. way. Okay. So it'd be a sort of southeasterly, but that's going directly across our direction. So, uh, yeah, it's not unreasonable to expect a few bumps going through there, but they're nice on the final part into Las Vegas. Good stuff. And that's what our weather is as well. Into Vegas, nice. A little bit gusty out of here and low cloud base at the moment, uh, with a forecast to be from the south the wind is. So that could bring into question the departure runway, whether we go on the two sevens or the zero nines, because it's, the wind's coming directly from the south, which obviously dictates the direction we take off. Um, but into Las Vegas, very pleasant. We're expecting uh, for our arrival time, which is up till 
that's between four and two in the morning. We're getting there at eleven fifty at night. Uh, variable five knots, which is light winds basically and clear visibility. So nice for our arrival. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Guys, have you had a chance to uh, have a look at everything? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, okay. Uh, we've all had a look at everything. A any thoughts, guys? Just that one. A bit blustery. Yeah. Everywhere. That's fair. Yeah, really. Good. Mm -hmm. Good possible runway change. Out of here. Yeah. 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 It's a little bit gusty out here. Um, once we're through here, it's generally okay as we go up through Greenland and, and then the top of uh, Northern Canada. It's a little bit snowy. Um, some of our onward stuff up there, but it's actually once you get down towards Goose and Gander, it's not as bad. At the other end, the weather's pretty good. We've got good weather for alternates. Weather in is fine, and I've worked out at the top of my head it's about 22 minutes of yeah. extra spare fuel. Yeah. We've got loads of runways at Vegas, so unless I can't see any changes, unless I've missed anything, I suggest we we'll go with a. Uh, Flight plan fuel yeah. uh, adjusted, which we know it's always <laughs> yeah. an extra 100 kilos is yeah. going to go up or 100 kilos. So um, it's going to be 95.7 tons. Ground fuel. Yeah, yeah, you agree with that? Absolutely, yeah. you happy with that? Yeah. yeah. Um, Subject to any changes. Um, good. Anything else I've missed? Anything? No, any any suggestions? Vegas, yeah. so we we'll get that. It's fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. it's good. No, happy? No, no, Flight yeah. plan done. Three. See if we can find the aircraft now. Yeah, yeah. there we go. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Um, Dave, if I might, do you mind just doing a very a slightly stretched briefing? Okay, guys, we're flying. Let's check the route. Uh, repositioning the last flight. Uh, last flight for the other British uh, Central Center. Okay, so that's uh, Jimmy and the ITV boys uh, doing a um, yeah. doing extended. Yeah. I'm not over fast with it. Wouldn't you take it off in this one? You're right, Jimmy? Okay, okay. So, let me just pop that there. I'm going to try that audio one more time, Jelly. Um, because I think that might have been the, uh, the boys at ITV. That maybe, uh, I think it may have been their, uh, their, their system. That I'm just going to pop it on now. Just check your audio. Check, check. Check, check. One, two, check, check. Is it? Okay. okay, that's interesting. I think that might be uh, right, okay. We just have to. Uh, hands out. We've got the um, values. Yeah. 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 There's, there's one that's permanently on here, that's rigged up on here, which uh, sort of like feeds, feeds the fully charged battery on here. Ah, right. That can go for sort of like seven hours, you know. Uh. All right, sorry, Jilly. Okay, no, 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 it's fine, it'll come back on. Okay, I'm just checking, just testing the belly. Okay. Okay, just check, check, Lavelia, check, check, Lavelia for the, uh, just for. Is it, is it? Okay, well, that's fine then, let's go back to the camera. Uh, and let's turn that Lavelia off because these are for the pilots later on. Uh, so there we go folks, um, thanks to Mark uh, and of course thanks to um, Carl and Zane. I think that uh, I think Zane's going to be in the left hand seat, Mark's going to be in the right hand seat and uh, I do know for sure 
that um, I've left a, uh, a camera with the crew as well. So they're going to be documenting uh, some of the stuff as they go out, uh, filming the, uh, the departure, the, the takeoff, uh, the sign off, a um, little bit of uh, uh, cruising um, footage, uh, arriving into Las Vegas, and then of course uh, arriving into uh, Pinal, which is uh, the, the, the final destination. Uh, but let's just call it the handover, uh, shall we? Um, because she is obviously going to be utilised uh, as a troop carrier with Atlas Air. How about that? Hope you're all doing well this morning. A little bit better than me. <laughs> did you do the Did you do the pilots ones? Okay, perfect, Jilly man. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> right. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch that off. We can drop. We can go to. Um... So what we're waiting for at the moment, folks, is we're just going to uh, wait for the for the pilots to finish. And then when they finish, what we're going to do is, uh, actually, maybe we can, maybe we can run that Virgin piece now, Jilly. Possibly, possibly run that Virgin piece now. Yeah, they're Virgin. Yeah, yeah. Okay, folks. So this is a, um, and I uh, call it. I'll see you, um, see you, see you, see you, see you, see you, see you, see <laughs> okay, folks. So uh, we're just going to run this out quick while the uh, while the crew finish their uh, their, their final um, chat uh, with the, the guys from ITV, and um, we will. Uh, this is a little piece that Virgin put together. Um, it's only three minutes long. Enjoy it, and uh, we'll be right back in a very short while. Okay, GP, run VT. It was the game changer aeroplane for the industry, wasn't it? It was the it was the aeroplane that connected vast numbers of people together. If you look at the history of this aircraft back from the 60s, and actually it was this aircraft that fueled the aviation and transport boom. When it came in the 70s, it became an instant iconic aircraft straight away. It goes back to the heyday of aviation, I think. It's just this iconic shape, and then people see it's instantly recognisable because of the bubble. It's actually a beautiful aeroplane, despite its size. Everybody loved it because it's just impossible not to look at the thing and marvel, really. When you get to that gate and, and the aircraft's there, and, you know, it is the iconic image of Virgin and a 747. People are in love with this aircraft. I don't think we can say that about some of the modern aircraft. People that were born after this aircraft was first flying are in love with this aircraft. So I think I'll miss people's love for this aeroplane. When those passengers get on board, adults and children, their reaction to, obviously you get on at the two doors and you see the stairs and you know, you go up to the bubble or you know, you just walk all the way down to the back to row 66. I love welcoming people on board and seeing their reaction and loving it as much as I do. I got my command in 1993, so that meant I became the first uh, woman in Britain to captain the 747. And I absolutely adore the aeroplane, so it was perfect for me. I guess I never ever lost that moment when you walk out to the aeroplane in the morning, getting off the crew bus, looking up at the thing. Can't quite believe that that's capable of flying, yet alone that I'm flying it. My favourite thing about it is people's reactions when they see it. It's such a commanding presence. You can see it from so far away. Just the sheer look of it, beauty of it. I mean, it's uh, not easy to explain how beautiful she looks. She's an absolutely stunning piece of metal. Just that excitement when I first got on board and I couldn't believe how big it was. Well, when you see the bubble, the bubble gives it away and it just looks simply beautiful. When you get down route somewhere like Orlando when there was five there a day and they were all parked up next to each other. The pride of walk walking through the airport, of both here and down route, and you know, being that crew of a 747, oh, I can't beat it. The first time I, I flew it in command, I think that was the most exciting day of my life, to be honest. 
one of the moments I loved was being part of the crew at Virgin's first uh, Prime Minister's charter flight. And we took V Fab, which you'll all remember with a painted Richard's mum on the, all the way down the fuselage with a champagne glass. So we took that and when we landed at JFK, they had the flight line of all the heads of state's aeroplanes and they parked us next to Air Force One. So we're sitting there, the two jumbos next to each other, Air Force One and the Virgin lady with the, uh, with the champagne glass. Intriguing, I guess. Queen of the skies. Fabulous. It would have to be iconic, just iconic. And a queen, if I can use two words. <laughs> well, I just missed the look of it. The sheer look of it. I'm just so grateful that I've had the chance to work on it. Really, it sounds cheesy, it's corny, but it's been a dream come true. To me, Virgin Atlantic is a 747, and yeah, the 747 is Virgin Atlantic. Old Mr Boeing, he built a good one. Are you going to carry the sticks down for yeah, me, Gareth? Well, Thanks, please. mate. Yeah. Okay, folks, we are... Uh, hope you enjoyed that. What was the general consensus of opinion, Jilly? Virgin always do a fantastic job with their editing, that's for sure. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, fair enough. Okay. So, usual live TV stuff, folks. Um, let's just put, pop them down there like that. That's for Gareth. Say hello, Gareth. Hi, Jay. <laughs> He's back again. Oh, yeah. uh, the famous <laughs> Gareth. Okay, Thanks, I'll mate. Okay. All oh, right. Okay. So hold on a second. I need to put me uh, high vis on. Way to make an entrance. <laughs> okay, let me just double check. I've got everything down here, so we don't need that. We do need that. It's not going to run the gloves. Don't need any of that. Um, tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to double check. We still don't know whether it's 09 or 27s yet. No. Um, no uh, is there some kitchen towel in here? So, well, I'll tell you what. They've gone down there that way, have they? they oh, they've got to come back this way. They've got to come back this way. So we thought we'd have a stand right outside Jerry, which would have been more convenient for logistics. Yeah, right, like literally right here. Yeah, but the one Almost. we've got is a little bit of a walk away, but it's better for uh, for us getting in the car and getting the views, getting the catch and take off, so that works well. Yeah, good, good, okay. So this is where we're waiting for them. This down here is our, this whole area is our, is our sort of crew briefing area. Pilots and cabin crew come here. Obviously it's very quiet today because T3 is yeah. not much going on in T3. But, but it's normally hustle and bustle, our, is yeah, it? Hustle and bustle. Crew a nice pilots, chill out room in there. Chill out room where our crew uh, put their feet up if they've got a bit of time before the flight. Okay, let's follow them on. You got the flag? Did you call I haven't left anything back here. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the spare battery with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Wives or families or anyone you want to say hello to? My mum and dad are watching. Oh, my godson yes. as well, Lewis. Yeah. Yeah. Hey James, Rosie, Bob. <laughs> See you in a bit. Yeah. Hi Hayden and hi Louise. I hope you've been good at sports camp, Hayden. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs>
Oh, that would have been a great shot, wouldn't it? <laughs> Tell him to reverse. <laughs> <laughs> Get him to reverse. Yeah. Look at that, two seconds to there. Yeah. yeah. So we were just yeah, actually yeah. talking about that, saying it was great to go through. Yeah, of course. Boys? Here we go. Let me get the yellow out. Yeah, we'll be taking off. We'll be in front of this window here, guys. This window, I reckon. Yeah. I don't feel a health and safety place. Sorry, Dave. We're good. Okay. We're good, good. We'll do the. Uh, we'll go to uh, the. Go to the main mic um, when we're out on the field, Jilly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Going to smoke. Yeah. <laughs> Not yet. Not we'll yet. be able to tell you in the next 20 minutes. Have you got um, something in place there? Well, I hope it's just hanging around the field. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a moist runway at least, so we'll get, kick up a load of... Um, yeah. A load of moisture off yeah, the runway, that'll look pretty spectacular. Got you, mate. I've got you. Thanks. I've got you, sir. Thanks, Mark. You good, mate? Yeah. Jimmy's like Mr. Ben, isn't he? He just appears like the shopkeeper in Mr. Ben. Hi, Gotcha, gotcha. Sorry, Becky. Thank <laughs> you. 
I guess you can leave those there. Gary. Yeah, I'll leave them all. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now we're going to switch to the Vellias, James. He. Uh, actually, I'll tell you what we probably could do. You're rolling, Jimmy, or...? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Sorry. Morning. You right there? How are we doing? Good. Nice it's stuff. Dave again. Hello, Joe. Hello, mate. How are we doing? Very well, are you? Yeah, yeah. Emotional last day. Yeah, final checks all done. Uh, yeah, we're just doing the last bit of paperwork now. And then, uh, yeah, we're ready. Hello, Dave. You haven't got any essays to write or anything? Hey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Have you got any essays to write or anything like that? No, no, no just, just a few little bits to anything work our way through. Anything significant for us? No, no, it's not. Just Yeah, it's Dave. Okay, mate. All these just, uh, out. <laughs> uh, I've got some notes here. Perfect. GP, check your uh, stand by. Right. Okay. So, just let this say, so, yeah, just a fish pole and a white pole. Okay, yeah, cheers. Check your, check, uh, check your audio. Hello. Hello. <clears throat> Mark, can you? Uh, Jerry, I'm assuming you're not allowed on a walk around with me. Yes, I am. Oh, you are. Yes, right. and I'm going to be doing that with you, sir. Oh, good. <sighs> you good, Mark? Yep. Log, so cool. Did you put that in? No, I've done nothing. I'll just put okay. Irish on saying that's all right. Done. Awesome.
you go. Uh, so guys, can you just confirm the uh, standby artificial horizon is erect? Erect. Erect. Thank you. The third man's job is to, like a car, run through some of the documents and make sure that it's uh, basically MOT'd and insured and all that sort of thing. This is the insurance certificate, which shows that we are insured for 2,000 million US dollars. That's a lot of money. It's quite a lot of money, that. Yeah. My dad was asking me the other day uh, what it is, so that's the answer. 2,000 million. US. Is that two billion? Is that what it's called? Two billion, I think that's two billion. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's two billion. Yeah. 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 
Mm -hmm. Should we get some ice here? Yeah. It's a bit hot now, isn't it? You good, mate? Can we get back? You just tell me when you're ready yeah. to go. I'll just squeeze back in there if you don't know already. So um, the fuel is not even here yet. Is it so, not? No, so he's, he's not even plugged in yet. So oh. um, if you want, we can take a slow walk around and have a look outside. Should we do that? Yeah. Okay. What I'm going to do is, um, because I can't mic Absolutely. you up, actually, you can take one of the mics off of uh, either Zach or Mark. It's pretty loud outside. Yeah, so yeah. So it's highly it unlikely you're gonna, we're going to get any. So just, 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 if you could just describe now exactly what you're going to do on your work walk around then then I can just um, I can just cover you as you're doing it yeah sure so what's the what's the procedure then uh, it's, it's pretty basic we come out of the two left which is the main entrance door where most of the passengers come in and then we just walk around the aircraft clockwise uh, looking for really obvious things like uh, leaking any leaking fluid coming out of the wrong areas in the doors and hatches that are not open or that are open that should be closed. Um, anything unusual. Um, uh, quite an interesting thing on the pylon on the engines is a little black strip, and uh, part is attached to the wing, and the other part is attached to the pylon. And if there's been, for example, a heavy landing or if that's been given some duress, that strip may not be exactly in alignment. So that's one thing that we look at to make sure it's fully aligned to make sure it hasn't been through any heavy landings. Um, on the gear, uh, on the wheels, you probably, I think I've seen this before, and you, there are brake wear pins, which same on the 7.8 that you were covering the other day, so we check that they've got enough brake wear in them remaining. And then we go round the back, round the stabiliser, uh, check all the APU outlets and uh, the outflow valves, and make sure none of those have got anything untoward. The stabiliser's roughly in the right position as we expect it to be in, and it's a case of just a general look see to see if we can see anything unusual we don't like. But in particularly nice in conditions, uh, we have a good look at all the surfaces and the wings before we make our decisions on whether we're going to require DIC. Not a problem at all today, uh, too warm, no, no, no problem with that. So that's the general, general outline. Good stuff, let's go do it. Yeah. Cheers. Right. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> Throwing you in the toilet there. Can we jump in? Get a quick photo All looking good, Dave? Yep. You've got to pre feel pretty honoured to be the one sending her off. <laughs> yeah, I think it's quite quite fitting that uh, we are actually in a position where we're able to say goodbye to the aircraft that we've worked for this many years, albeit from a different station to what it's been based at for uh, the last couple of years. But no. Yeah. And yeah. you did uh, you did work on Roy down at Gatwick, did you? Or? Yes, uh, we, at, at the towards the end we had all the uh, jumbos based at Gatwick, although we did cycle them through other stations um, as they went. But yes, predominantly they all all came back to Gatwick eventually. And it's all, all much of a muchness. It's not like having a, an old temperamental car that keeps going, dropping an alternator every five minutes. No, I mean, you had your favourites, um, there were affectionate names for each aircraft based on their registrations and people's personal experiences with them, but uh, yeah, no, good, good aircraft to work with, so Fantastic. we're going to miss them. Anything unusual that we need to know about for the walk No, no, she's a, she's a good ship, 
Wow. Yeah, there's, uh, we'll show you something. That's, wow, uh, I've never seen that before. There we go. Really nice, nice clean, nice clean sheets. Wow. There we go. Wow. <laughs> Stand by, GP. I'm just going to put. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Main mic on uh, when we get down there, yeah? Jelly? Okay. You see it a bit, Dave? Jimmy. Okay, okay yeah, we'll pull you down. See it a bit. You coming, Dave? Okay, we're going to do the walk around now, folks. Run around now. Up there, galley, nothing in there, no sandwiches, yeah, nothing, nothing for the meals for anybody. Yeah. Done a mice check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, now I'm outside, I'm going to do a, a, a mic check. Stand by, stand by. Are you with me, Jilly? No. Because it's going to be loud when we're out there. It's going to be very loud with the APU running, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be very loud. So, ear muffs, so really a mic is probably a bit of a... Yeah, I've got to, I've got a headset, so uh, so I'm pretty well covered. I'll point out some of the things we're, we're looking at. Uh, for example, the uh, those 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 um, alignment I'll pylon those, alignments yeah. will be quite quite interesting yeah. to see because yeah. uh, obviously yeah I can fully understand in terms of a heavy landing yeah. um, things do shift I'm guessing you know so so, yeah. so it just goes to show the resilience in the uh, does Gareth do you have a pass that will get through yes. any of these doors yeah because. I'm going to need you yeah, to let us out, but more in. importantly, let us back in again. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's going to be a good box, it's going to end for the show, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just swiping this. Plus these stairs are a little safer, the ones that go up by the uh, air bridge are yes. almost fine and loud. I think the interference on the mic, Jimmy, might be from... Uh, right, OK, stand by. Other mic on now, Jimmy. Other okay. mic on now. Check your... Uh, yep, Doctor. Okay. It's on now. That's OK. A, bit, a little bit blustery, a little bit windy. OK, here we go. The windscreen wipers are on the on their stop. Condition of the radar, the weather radar dome is all intact, no bird strike. Icing, icing detectors, dynamic pitot tubes, and alpha bay. that gives us the angle of the uh, pitch angle. Find this. It's going to be quite windy. Ground power, electrical ground power, that when we go, obviously, they can pull those out. Into 
the pack for the air conditioning. That strip, that's the black strip I was telling you about. It's, that needs to be aligned. In the event of a hard landing, that may be out. Like 57,000 pounds of thrust. See the turbine blades in there, that's a turbine blade. So bleed air, bleed air rams? No, bleed air tapped off the engines yep. in the intermediate and high pressure stages and then four through pipes move the leading edges. I see, okay. Only bleed air. If the bleed air fails, then the backup is electric. Training edge flat run by hydraulic. And they've got a backup as well. Little, uh, little aerial sticking out the back, static wicks, 19 on the wing, on the wing. It should be. <laughs> Canoes, flat track steering, official term, nickname canoe, where the flats come down over there. Flat track steering. Great wear indication here. Steering. Power 
Get at my house. Yeah. Super clean, but very normal. Happy, pretty woman. Headlights. 
with the main landing lights there, taxi lights on the nose wheel. Check around her. That's the last time. The last time on the Big Bird having to walk around. Well, last time at Heathrow. Yes, yeah. of course, yeah, yeah. We've still got one more to do at Vegas. One more. The engineers do all that as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are, they, are they staying out there? They're staying out, yeah, they're all right. Unless Zeng throws in another cheeky diversion like he did with Lim. You what? Unless Zeng throws in another cheeky diversion like he did with Lim. Oh, right, yeah. Just to, uh, right. Just to get one more centre around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it might be, it might have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm sure I saw a crow. Yeah. yeah. Definitely saw a crow. Absolutely. You yeah. saw it, you saw it, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big one, big one it was. Yes. Yeah. Hi. Hi. It's Lee, who you've met before. Oh, yes, He's just coming to uh, see off. Yes, okay. A few people to wave her off. Oh, no. How's it going? How are you doing, mate? All right, mate. Good, good to see, see you. Yeah, you too. How's Did you enjoy your little piece? Yes, yeah, very good, yeah. Thanks. Fantastic. Great day, wasn't it? Really good Lee day. Butterfield, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so now we've got a bit of a full cockpit because we've got Dave in here just going through the final paperwork checks. Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Sorry, Can I just double check? You've got your uh, your Lavellias. They're blue, and yours is blue. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Let's just check this, Jilly. Okay. Go. One, two, three. Hello, Jilly. Hello. Hello. Hello.
from Rafa. But no chance. Going on, going on, yeah. Yeah, cool. Top man, thank you. Is that right, Dave? What's the problem? Uh, it's, it's basically the first time it's had a pressure fuel for a while. Okay. Because we've done fuel transfers, obviously, um, it came in on minimums. Yeah. And then we've had a 350 in for a way, yeah. so we transferred the fuel off at 350 and then back to 350. So because it's only doing it off aircraft pumps, sometimes oh. the uh, Computer gets a bit oh, upset right. by the fact that it's not seen um, right. like proper pump pressure, but uh, refuel truck pressure. Okay. All right, brilliant. Thanks for thanks for sorting that out. Appreciate sure. it. You thought there was going to be a nice cruise signing off the tech log, <laughs> and then Carl, <laughs> Carl came in and threw us a bit of curveball there. We're trying to keep her that little bit longer. Yeah, yeah I know. She nice. does, she's, going, she's not going quite this. <laughs> yeah. Um, is someone in the someone in the Ford and Evo? Yes, uh, we'll be going back up in, in there just after the refuel. Okay, all right, all right. Same thing again with the uh, things that we've got. Cheers. One six five point nine. All right. So we're happy with fuel. Carl's done a walk around, so yeah, sign us off. Give him the final figures. Yeah. Five seven. Five seven. Five, seven.
last signing of acceptance. That's it then? Yeah, that's All it. checks done? The, the, um, the aircraft is pretty much set up to go now. Jerry, um, we, we saw that that was the, the tech which I just signed there, that's saying we're happy with the aircraft, we're accepting it. There's there've been quite a lot of maintenance, as you know, going in the last few weeks. As uh, engineering, it really, really pulled out all the stops. And, uh, and tea, I think we, should, we should be clapping on Thursday nights for our asset management team um, for, for all the hard work they put. I mean, they're, they're sort of kind of in the background, but as you probably know, it takes about 18 months per airframe for one aircraft to go back to the lease company, and they have done eight, you know, four months. You, you know, they've got 20 years worth of maintenance records which needs to be accounted for. So those guys have done a really, really, really good job. In fact, um, I'll speak to Dennis uh, Rasmus shortly. He normally uh, gives me the green light just when all the lawyers have signed on the dotted line. We wait for lawyers to wake up in America. And once they have signed on the dotted line, that paperwork comes back to our guys at Asset yeah. Management and then they sign it thereafter. Uh, and then that's pretty much it. He'll give us a green light and then off we go. When we are in international airspace, which is about 12 miles off the coast, um, of Scotland today. Although they know where we are, we go for this ritual where we will send a message to our operations. We'll tell them we're in uh, international airspace, and that's when all the all the uh, documents get exchanged and money starts changing hands and everything. So, or I'll probably but for asset management, that's probably when I'll start getting champagne on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, bittersweet though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely bittersweet. You know, so we alluded to in the when we spoke before, you know, it's very exciting to do this. Um, it's extremely honourable, but it's it's sad at the same time because, you know, we're, we're saying goodbye to our favourite aircraft and, you know, we're also um, kind of remembering all the all our colleagues that have sadly, you know, we've had to say see you later to for the, um, because of the pandemic, basically. But hopefully, you know, everyone will be back soon, you know, Hopefully there's little green shoots of glimmers of hope for the future and you know all, all those people we can, we can get back to. You know, so you know, let's get everybody uh, let's get everybody back flying again. Yeah. Because uh, hopefully uh, that's a good one. what do you think Mark? I totally agree. Just need to yeah. green shoots down here so uh, the demand's there, people want to go yeah. flying. Just being able to, isn't it? That's the issue. Um, I've kind of put it along the side of like, you know, the spring uh, with, with with Mother Nature. Now yeah. all the green shoots will start to come yeah. through, and uh, hopefully yeah. we can uh, 
work with Mother Nature and... Uh... Big Jet TV, the fertiliser. <laughs> <laughs> fertiliser? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How are we going to get that? I just do not know. But, uh, anyway, <laughs> onwards. <laughs> Hi yeah. Dave. All right. All right. Something all right. How are we? Yeah. Doing fine. How are we doing with reviewing the book? It's reviewed and signed, sir. Oh, Real cruisal. So you can start tearing away. There you go, my old mate. Thank Is the only fuel book down there? What's up? No, your fuel book is just, yeah, down the left hand side. You have to be a contortionist, as I said, <laughs> to uh, grab books and uh, bits and pieces. And uh, just to let you know that the uh, boys and girls at uh, British Airways have sent their best wishes and uh, love to you guys as well. Uh, Hi guys. Wishing you all the best. There is love after all. There is love. <laughs> I'm going to uh, just have a quick physiological break before we start. Okay. I've got make sure my mic is turned off. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's back in the set. Okay. Uh, well, let me oh, back up here. Do, 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 do. Oh, so it. Oh, got a few of the gang here, actually. It's just we've got a few people here I just want to say hi to. Yes, sorry. Hi. Hi. Sorry, Carl. Shane, how are you? How's it going, all right? How would you do? Yeah, good, sir. Yeah, good, sir. Hi. How's it going? Good. Hello. How's everybody? Good? Good. We're good. We're good to go. Technical acceptance. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. So, at the moment, we've got our technical acceptance, so we're, we're good to go. The usual text message. Yeah, when uh, you got into the session, please. We'll take a photo of the two of you with the book. So, this is the final sign Just have a look at that, Dave, that page that you just showed. Yeah. So, uh, just explain our final, what we're looking at here. Uh, basically, this is the last sign-off in the book. We've carried out our daily check, and we've carried out our transit check there. I've signed the flight clearance, and Zane has accepted the aircraft with his signature there. And we've just put a little note in there. Always good to put, put, put a little personal personal goodbye to the aircraft. And now I've got many carbon pages to pull. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's you, is that right? Yeah. I'll, I'll do a screenshot of the... We'll see when he comes through and I'll look at it. But they say 10 times on the technical page. I don't know, I don't know what the issue is, of course. It'll be on the sheet at the end. Okay. Yeah. 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 Good, Lee, and you? Yeah, good, mate. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, very well, thanks. Well. Good to see you. Yeah, you thanks too. Thanks for your hard work. No, not at all. No, thanks for yours and all your flexibility. So that's made all the difference. Not really has. No problem at all. Get you back in time for Christmas, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They get that uh, 350 out here. <laughs> yeah, 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 they don't move That's the, uh, yeah, the exit team shuffle. Yeah, thanks for your note the other day as well. No, no, no. Really appreciate nice. that as well. No, it's great. Uh, much that, appreciate it, yeah. Really nice. You're sat over in Phoenix, aren't you? Yes, yes, we're watching it live in uh, the queue for Delta in Phoenix. <laughs> I saw Johnny Burns uh, pull with you as well. John came across really well. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, that was really good. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. I'll let you crack on anyway, because I'm sure there's lots to do. But Cheers, I just want to say bye for everything. And, uh, yeah, stay in touch, will you? Yeah, we'll definitely. Cheers. Take care. See you later. Take, Take care, Carl. Cheers. Cheers. I'll grab that mic off you, Mark. Cheers, mate. Thanks, Mark. Thanks. Perfect.
How long have you been on the 7.4s for then, Mark? Uh, 18 years. Wow. I joined in January 2003, so uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's gone very, very quick. What, straight, straight in with Virgin? or? Yes, yeah, so I was at Air Tours before, so uh, for the 7.5, um, So Lee works on those as well, and Mono and Zane was there as well. Um, before that, I was at UK on the F27. Um, Quite a group of us all joined us at the same time. A good friend of mine, Richard Moss, he's a trainer on the 7 8 now, but he was on the F27 same time as me at UK, so we're on the same sponsorship scheme. Um, and then I went to Airtours and then came to Virgin, so yeah, it's been it's great. And you Virgin Express. Virgin Express. Express. Yeah. So Carl joined about two months ahead of me. Yeah, so. similar time in the uh, previous town on Virgin yeah. Express. So big up to everybody in Virgin Express out there uh, back in 02. So yeah. Similar time to Mark. Wow. Yeah. So it's, it's, it must be very sort of like. I, I guess you've had time now to sort of like get into the the, the 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 fact that you're not flying as often and so on and so forth. Because you were literally rostered to fly how many times a it week? 20, it was 29 weeks from my last flight to the, the first one of these. So yeah, it was the last flight was the 20, 26th of March. I was a ferry flight from uh, Gatwick to Heathrow. And that was that was it. Um, so uh, yeah, it's been a long time. Can so, you ask him? Can you ask Graham to get another update? I don't know where she sent us. Thanks, Dolly. Don't do this game again. Don't stand here, Grab that mic, Dolly. Thanks, Dave. Graham, can we have another load sheet sent, please? Another load sheet. Well, there's a note on. Cheers, man. Jerry, I'm going to dive in here. I'm going to embarrass Zane here because I happen to know that Zane. They've got a birthday cake. No, yeah. like that. <laughs> no I have to know that. Yeah. Zane has got a little something in his bag which he wasn't going to show, but I think that your audience will be very interested to know uh, right. what Let's Zane is going to leave. Leave uh, as a little nostalgic touch on the airplane. I've got to, All right. I've got to embarrass you there, Zane. And, uh, that's right. That's, that's, that's actually funny. Well. As, you, as you know, um, Graham, when yeah, Graham we did one of the uh, early trips to um, Penal, we all went on a, you know, being big 747 av geeks, we went on an old TWA 100. And it, when we went on it, it was literally like taking a trip down memory lane. It's full of uh, you know, newspapers, etc. Oh, you got it. Right. So um, it kind of gave us the idea if we've been this, you know, so much. Been messages see you, see on the time. aircraft, you know, for future people to see uh, thereafter. So this time, um, this is the last one, we've made a little, uh, made a little plaque that we're going to leave out. So, oh, I'll, fantastic. I wasn't going to show anyone, but if you want... It, Let's have a look. Let's... Oh, that'd be lovely, yeah. Thank you very much. So where's this going to go then, Zane? We'll probably stick that. It will be in the cockpit somewhere, maybe on the back of the crew. So this is a, a notice to all the future crews who fly on her, or uh, or or in. Yeah, it's just uh, we just wanted to kind of leave our mark, which Carl hasn't seen the words yet. Have you haven't seen no, the words yet. Either, no, I haven't seen either. Oh, here we go. Then. Happy, no can pressure all, then. You can all <laughs> sign it. You can all sign it after. You did do a, a, a typo check, yeah? Yeah. Okay, am yeah, I going to uh, am I going to be able to see that because it might be Jilly? Just check if you can see it. Just uh, hold on a second, I've got that. Oh, uh, okay. someone to read it to you. Okay, okay, I'm going to hold it there for a... Okay, shall we read it out for those who aren't reading it then, Zane? Do you want to read it, Jerry? Okay, so it says, uh, thank you, Queen of the Skies. You have made it possible for millions to embrace the human spirit for adventure and travel the globe. Exploring new worlds, people and their cultures has helped us understand our differences so we can all live together in peace. Captain Zane Dunn. Nice. Well done, sir. That's a... Uh Oh, great. Thank you, man. That's for later, digit. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Too early to cry. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Great, sir. Great, sir. Uh, yeah. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. All good to go? Yeah. Same you? Yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah. that's all signed. That's all done.
So we've got a green light from the big man who's in charge of everything. Wrong for mine. So, um, that's it. Okay, so, okay. it's going to be two seven left. Try. So, should we do wet then it's done? Yeah. Well, that's wet. Is that going to be a relatively um, early departure? In terms of uh, the rotate shot, 208 yeah, about halfway. About halfway, yeah. So I think what we're probably going to do now is we're probably going to get out to the um, to our position. Okay. So yeah. um, we'll leave you to it. Okay. All thank right, you Jerry. very much indeed. Yeah, right. Have a safe flight. Cheers, Jerry. And Thanks, I'm sure Jerry. that everybody Thanks, uh, around the world who's watching right now are wishing you the very best and um, have a safe journey and, and um, have a great Christmas as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. You. All Thank the best. you, Jerry. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thanks, Jerry. Take care. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you. Bye. See you. Bye-bye. OK, thanks. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Hey. Hello. Hey, guys. Right, right. we're, we're good. good to go. Yeah. Uh, should we go, to go and find our... Uh... Yeah. Cheers, Dave. Cheers, guys. Disinfection man. Oh. One last time. One o'clock, one o'clock. Have you got it? Yeah. You're watching it live, fella? Yeah. <laughs> Get him on there. You see yourself on there, mate. <laughs> a little bit of food coming on board. Okay. Oh, yeah. Come on, Jerry. Right. Oh, yeah. All this. Oh, yeah. Gents? Good, good, good. Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah. Right, can we head down? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Uh, two seven left. It's a definite two seven left departure. I'll leave this in the gate. Or do you want to bring this with you? I think uh, if we can bring it with us so I can... Uh... Yeah. Right, let's go back downstairs then. Yes, OK. We... Yeah, we're live. Oh, yeah. All very good. People loving it, man. Good, isn't it? Yeah. Right, it's good and it's sad. Yeah. It's uh, it great following the wall train, actually. I've never done that before. Yes, yes. It's interesting, isn't it? I mean, you learn so many new things all the time, uh, especially those um, those sink marks as well yeah. on the uh, engine cows, uh, on the, um, the, the pylons. The guys filming for Britain's busiest airport We're out here already. Yeah, Jimmy and the ITV. Okay. We'll pop up there from up here, I reckon. So we can get the 
get ready to go back? Yeah. My goodness me, my arm is wrecked. Oh, okay, just gonna put it up here for a little bit, Jilly. Uh, let's get can we go a little bit further forward. We good here, mate? Yeah.
Even now, oh, okay, okay. No, that's that's fine. No, I was just uh, so so. What's what's going to happen now, folks? Is we're gonna the aircraft is around about what's the what's the time, GP? What's the time check? Time check. Okay, it's about 20 minutes before she goes. Um, they're going to push back from this position here. Then they're going to head up towards 27 left. And uh, we're going to be positioning ourselves just to the right here, um, around about where the freight terminal is. And of course, all you uh, regulars on Big Jet TV will know exactly where that is from our, uh, our, our shops up on top of the Hilton Garden Inn. Um, so that's uh, around about the rotate point, around about halfway down 27 left. Um, so we should get a high power departure little bit of moisture on the runway so it should look pretty dramatic and uh, then she'll disappear into what looks like relatively low cloud a couple of layers to it but uh, we'll get a good shot so I think what I'll do is I might have a little bit of a final walk around with her so we do that
final time. I love how these engines just, uh, the fan, front fan blades just yeah. spin in the breeze. Windmilling. It's like the ultimate garden, uh, <laughs> yes. garden, yes. um, what do you call it? Wind, Wind chime. <laughs> or a, a electric. I'd like to get one, yeah, get one of those hanging with a few bamboo bits underneath yeah. in my garden. Sometimes <laughs> you hear them catching. Yeah, it's a great that's sound, isn't it? Uh, I think that's when there's a very small, like, where it's, where it's ticking, you know? Yeah. Just hear it a little bit.
like you don't actually have to take the vehicle, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not this long. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, ye
Shut the door then. We're going to come down and shut the door now, and Carl's going to. Radio. Uh, you have everything. Well, I have it all then. Yeah, you have it. <laughs> cool. Right. Two Jerry's coming through. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, cheers. Are you off? Are you staying here, Mark? I am. Yeah. Take care. Well, all the best. Thanks. You just ask the pilot. Are you staying here on the flight? <laughs> yeah. Jerry, come in quick, quick. Yeah. Pass me the camera, sit yourself down in this seat, you can be the last ever member of the public to sit oh. Oh, yes. in a seat on this Virgin go. Atlantic. There you go. Assemble, oh. there you oh, that's nice to get me. I can't go any further because of your wire. Can I get you a cup of tea, sir? <laughs> oh, is that a right? Latte? Latte? You've got nice latte? coffee? Yes, yes. No, no, that's not all. Come yeah. on, chop, chop. No, that's right. Sorry, sir. So sorry, yeah. We'll be in a moment, sir. Yeah. Right. We're going to go shut the door. Fantastic. Yeah. There you are. Last ever member of the public to sit on the upper deck. The wow, deck seven that's seven. pretty poignant, mate. <laughs> oh well, here's your last chance, folks, to say goodbye to the old girl. See you, gal. That's all, folks. See you soon. That's it. There we go. Oh, my goodness me. Right, I think there's there. a few teary eyes in the house there. And that's only part one. Okay. Oh, that was great. That was great. And we've got Carl on camera too. Yes. Uh, going out to Vegas and Arizona with us, or with them. Oh, okay. A sleepless night was all worth it, eh? It was. <laughs> we had a pretty stressful weekend, Lee. Oh, oh my goodness me, man. Last, last four days has been... Oh my goodness me. Got to say a big thank you to the guys at Heathrow, though. You know, yes, absolutely. They've done a sterling job. Especially under the current circumstances, in the current climate, uh, for working so hard to get this, to get this, allow this to happen for us. That's the jet bridge moving back. Okay, jet bridge moving back. Stand by.
Lovely old camera, mate. No, no, Lime, is it your granddad's? No, it's uh, mine. Fair mine. play, mate. Lovely stuff. That's a film, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah good mine, lad. Mine, good lad. Original. Almost as old as this aircraft here. Yeah. Guys played a little while ago. Oh, hello, mate. How are you doing, man? Good to see you. <laughs> Fantastic. You recognise it, Jelly? From the VT that you played out. There you go. You know what? I think I'd prefer to be here because yeah, sure. otherwise I'll be walking yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Here. yeah. Question is, how far can we walk out? With her, or are we just stopping at a certain point, or just talking about that? Yeah, yeah. Just try and do it, but the um, there's a line the limit, I guess. Here, so they may uh, they may stop us, but we'll see how far we get. Because a lot, some of the times when I've been, it's like that white line there. There's a double uh, white and black line, yes, and that line there is the indication of the taxiway. So yes, can't cross that. No, but while on the stand, we should be able to do it. Yes, if we with the aircraft maneuvering, but we should be we should be okay with that. So, um, just to let you know, folks, that uh, Zane telling me um, a couple of days ago that apparently, due to the fact that she's an old girl, uh, they're probably going to start. They normally would start all engines together, but as she's uh, she hasn't been flying regularly um, as she would do normally, uh, he's going to go four, three, two, one engine start. So. Uh, one at a time, just to make sure that they're all um, running perfectly. And look, it's good to see Dave giving her the final... Uh... Yeah, Good. Okay, just gonna check this, uh, just gonna check this outdoor mic just one more time so I can any red noise. Okay, okay, checking, checking, one, two, it's on now. So, uh, Dave will be in touch through right now.
Okay, so are we walking or? I think we're going to dive in here. Okay. Just because of access, it's easier to get over there. I'll, yeah, I'll grab, so I'll grab your sticks. Thanks, they're easy man. to put down. Push that bit up in the middle to get them up. Oh, bloody hell. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thank you. It's just the ITV guys are going to stay here instead, Graham. So okay, I, no worries. Do you want to come or do you want to stay? We're just going to go over there. Yeah. Okay. We need to go now. 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 <laughs> I'll, I'll get Shall the I pull the mic, Shall you? Do you want me to pull the mic? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you want to get over there? I'm still in the room. Oh, going on? Sorry, my fault. <laughs> there we are, I'm in here. You got it, you got it. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Thank you. Here we go. Mass exodus. How good was that, Jerry? Oh, it was classic, oh. mate. It was great. It was really good. I got the shot I wanted with everybody waving as well, yeah. so... Yeah, really happy with that. Oh, hello. Hello. How are you? Very well, you? Yeah, not too bad. Good, good. Steaming up. Steaming up? Yeah. Enjoy <laughs> the weather. Oh, just the tears. Don't worry. We got ourselves for uh, the engine. I don't remember the anger. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I didn't yeah. recognise you oh, with that's your... that's alright. Yeah. You won't recognise you with... Uh, yeah, with the mask <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Poor Amber was crying. Yeah. Oh. She's in Atlanta, so she'd have missed it. Is she watching? Yeah. This is like when you arrive in Corfu and they've got a bus to drive you That's 60 it. yards. <laughs> in in the the <laughs> there you go. Well, we're in it from here. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Where, yeah, that, where he's stopped down there. Probably it'd be, the here, well, he said about halfway down the runway, but traditionally they've been going... Yeah, they've been the going around about here, yeah, nice. by the cargo, yeah. yeah. Airborne from behind yeah. kind of shot. Yeah. Because I was stood here for uh, years ago. Yes, right, right. Um, and yeah, it should be. She's a light load. She's got a light load, so she's oh, only... She's uh, they're, they're they're going going yeah. The best <laughs> point. Oh, yeah, there's that engineering point up here. Oh, that's where they're going. There we go. Oh, that's where you go. That's what Neil we're going to get. Perfect. What's the bit of BA photo? There we go, boys and girls. Oh, let's just leave that up. <laughs> right, I need the rigging sticks. <laughs> you good? Good. Right, let's get about right here, I think. On the edge of the taxiway. Okay, can I rig this up? They're nearly lining up already, Jerry. That's a bad Gonna have to go. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what to do. Okay, mic on, mic on. Check, mic on. Check, 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 check. It's what? It's what? Okay, what is it doing right now? 
What is it going to do? What? Okay. Just for the sake of it. Okay, check, check, one, two, one, two. You good? Okay, folks, well, there you go. Um, wow. It seems like we've only been here for five minutes. So, uh, Gareth, come on. Thank you, sir. Really uh, appreciate uh, everybody at Virgin's uh, helping out with this. What's that, Jelly? Do what? Oh, okay. We're just going to have to, uh, I don't know why that is then. I've just got no idea why that is. Uh, guys, we're going to sign off. Look after yourselves. Thanks, Aaron. You're a legend, mate. Thanks to everybody here who's helped out at Virgin Atlantic. Uh, we cannot thank you enough. Is it coming for us? Oh, Jilly. Jilly.
round of applause, please, ladies and gentlemen.